Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe Root, another fan TV, man. Back at you, another video. At the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button at the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, I hope everybody had a great weekend. First off, start off with that. Got to see Tank take down the, uh, take down Ryan Garcia. So that was a good day for Baltimore right there. Um, so shout out to Tank. But speaking of Baltimore, speaking of the Baltimore Ravens, um, I saw this on Twitter, right? So it was like guys and people just commenting their thoughts on, all right, so what's your dream Ravens pick? What's realistic? Uh, what would you hate to see? And then I threw in one call, like a wild card, right? So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do in this video. Also, if you're watching this video, of course, comment on it. The same thing, dream, realistic, hate, you know, wild card. Comment down below what you think the Ravens are going to do in that first round. So let's get right into it, man. All right. So um, I think dream, for me, uh, you've been following the channel for a little bit, and you know that um, I really like Zay Flowers, right? Um, I think Zay Flowers or, you know, if somebody was to fall, like a Jackson Smith and Jigba, those two guys are kind of like the dream scenario for the Ravens to, to me, to me personally. Um, I'm not sure DeAndre Hopkins trade is going to happen just because of his salary and giving up draft picks. I don't know if the Ravens are going to do the things necessary to get DeAndre Hopkins. I know we had Pac-Man Jones and his um, his strong uh, uh, feeling, his strong possibility, you know what I'm saying, that. DeAndre Hopkins could be a Raven, but I'm just not really sure or sold on it, right? So, um, Zay Flowers gives inside, outside versatility. I'm not really worried about his height, by his size. I've seen him go over top of guys. Um, I've seen him play everywhere on the field for, for Boston College. I've seen enough. Uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, I think, just smooth route runner. Guy gets open. He separates. Uh, there's a question whether or not he can only play in the slot. Can he play some outside? Um, I think the biggest thing is that He's a good route runner, and the Ravens need as many good route runners as they can get. Too many times, sometimes I think the Ravens draft guys is off of just purely traits. Um, I think the last draft with Bateman, not the last draft, but when they drafted Bateman, they got a, they got a route runner. They got OBJ. He's a route runner. You know, you add a Zay Flowers or Jackson Smith and Jigba, you get another route runner. Obviously, Jordan Addison fits that kind of role as well. But if we're talking about Dream, top two guys, JSN, uh, Zay Flowers for me. Those are two guys that they were somehow to be Ravens by the end of night one over the moon i'd be ecstatic with those two picks okay um but either one of the guy not not both of them obviously um so yeah um i'm not really too worried about i mean i see people say oh ray should just go get a straight speed guy i'm not too worried about that honestly like i mentioned zay flowers he can he can get over the top um i've seen jack smith and jay would do the same thing i mean he's not a speed guy but he can get down the field hell i seen rashad bateman last season he proved that to me okay speed i'm not worried about it Bomb versus the Jets, um, and then you know the slant versus the Dolphins. So I'm not worried about that. So, um, but those two guys are my dream. So realistic, right? Eric DeCosta has done nothing this entire pre-draft process except for talk about trading back. Uh, not not trading back, sorry, accumulating more draft picks. And one way that you accumulate more draft picks is either by trading players that's currently on your roster, which could happen, like a Patrick Queen, or whatever. Um, hey, Lamar Jackson, you know, you never know. I don't think that's happening, but you never know. Got throw it out there. Um, also by uh, trading back, right? So I think that the Ravens have a very strong likelihood of trading back. Um, now I pick twenty-two. If there's a couple of corners, a couple of wide receivers on the board, they say, "Hey, we can get one. Of, we can get, say, we like five guys on the board right now. Uh, let's trade back. Say let's go to 25, 28. You know, I'm just making stuff up here. Let's say we go twenty-five, twenty-eight, and then let's pick somebody. So let's say the Ravens trade back. I think that's realistic. Say they trade back to twenty-five. Maybe uh, a Joey Porter Jr., uh, maybe a Cam Smith from South Carolina. Um, I think if they trade back, I think it's more likely that, that they take a, a corner at that spot. I think there's a lot of corners at that 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 end of the first round, second round clump that the Ravens could target. Um, I wouldn't be mad at a um, a corner in the first round. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset about it because there's a position of need on this team. Um, so I 100% get it, you know. Uh, but I think a realistic possibility is that the Ravens trade back. And then, you know, maybe select one of the best corners on the board, whoever that may be at that point in time in the draft. So, um, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, if Joey Porter Jr. happens to become a Raven, I, I wouldn't have no problem with that. I think he reminds a lot of people of Marlon Humphrey, strong, bump and run kind of corner. Ball skills aren't great. You know, he can pass the flag, but he doesn't really catch interceptions. Um, I think the Ravens do need a playmaker. So I've seen, uh, I think Jer Daniel Jeremiah, he did a mock, not Daniel Jeremiah, I'm sorry, Jefferson Rebeck. Uh, Ravens uh, reporter for the Athletic. He did a, um, a a mock draft on the Athletic, and he had the Ravens trading out the first round, getting a second round pick, and then drafting uh, Mississippi State corner Emmanuel Forbes. And Emmanuel Forbes holds the record for most pick six, most pick sixes in college. So 
that's a guy who takes the ball away, not just takes the ball away, but goes to the crib with it. I obviously you know the Ravens have a history of Ed Reed, uh, obviously recently with Marcus Peters. So Ravens like those kind of guys who get the ball in their hands and then do something with it. So um, I can see a guy like Emmanuel Forbes too as well. All right. Now, uh, now hate, hate. There's nothing against these guys. I think they, they, they could be great prospects for other teams. And like I don't want to say hate like I hate this person. I'm just talking about prospect for the Ravens as a draft pick, I would hate. So um, to me, I've seen a lot of the, the Clemson def defensive tackle, Brian Bracey, uh, Bracey, I'm not sure I say his last name, but to me, that's a no. I, I, I No. Uh, defensive tackle in the first round for the Ravens, I'm just not feeling that. They got guys on the roster right now. And even if you feel like you need to fill that spot, um, go get that in, in, in the third, fourth round. Um, first round for the defensive tackle, I'm just not feeling that. I'm sorry. He could end up being a really, really good player. But to me, I'm just not feeling that at all. Uh, for the Ravens, if they're going to draft somebody in the first round, it's got to be wide receiver corner. And then if there's like a good edge on the board, maybe that's the top three that I would look to. But defensive tackle, uh, no, I'm not I'm not looking for defensive tackle at all. Okay. Um, second guy, another wide receiver. So this guy, uh, Quentin Johnston, all right, from TCU. Big play explosive yak guy. You know, six, six, two, six, three. Uh, I believe he's close to 200 pounds, if not over 200 pounds. Everything sounds great, um, except for the fact that he's a body catcher, and that if you, the Ravens were to come here, you got to say a sentence is like, "Yeah, but if we can work on the hands, he could be a really good player." No, I, I'm sorry. I watched Quentin Johnston play. I love what he does in some aspects, but every time I see him, I just remember Bashar Perryman. Right. And Bashar Perriman ended up getting his career together, you know, later on Tampa Bay and certain other stops. But early on, he couldn't stay on the field, couldn't stay healthy. That's, a, that's, that's beside the point. But the hands issue, I'm not with drafting a wide receiver in the first round with, with serious hands issues with a guy that's a body catcher. Listen, man, a lot of these guys is body catcher. Boom, hit you in the chest, bounce right off the chest plate. It's a drop. Um, I'm just not for that, man. I, I, I really can't do it. I think that he can go somewhere else and, and, and be a fantastic player. So, you know, I'm not saying, like, I think he's a bust or anything like that. But for the Ravens and their history of developing wide receivers, I don't trust that kind of guy coming into Baltimore with those kind of issues and saying, yeah, we're going to turn him into a starter, star player. I just don't trust that. I'm sorry I don't. Um, okay. Now, lastly, we're talking about wild card, right? Something that could happen that would be shocking. Uh, listen, man, you know, I've seen this thrown around and – I think it could happen, um, and that's 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 B. John Robinson to the Ravens, right? Now, I'm not a fan of drafting B. John Robinson. I think he's an amazing player. I think he's, you know, really really good. You know, catching the ball, running the ball, he could really do it all. I think his pass block is the one area where he has to improve. But that's most that's for most young running backs. So that's not really like a, a big. I mean, it is a big deal, but it's not a weakness that most young running backs don't already have. So, but. Um, they got J.K. Dobbins here. They got Gus Edwards here. But um, the Ravens could want to just have a, a young, cheap, explosive running back. J.K.'s coming up on a contract year. If things don't work out, J.K. cannot be a Raven next year. It's very possible. Uh, but Gus Edwards, same thing. So you draft B. John Robinson. You have five years of control on a running back contract or, or for an explosive, young, tough running back. A lot of people think that he's the best running back in the draft, right? It's between him and Jameer Gibbs, one and two, right there. Um, now that's just the wild card. Like I'm not, I'm not saying I want that to happen. That's just the wild card I'm throwing out there. I could very well see it. Um, so yeah, those, those are my thoughts, man. My, my dreams, um, J JSN or Zay Flowers, realistic, a trade back, get one of those corners, you know, Manuel Forbes, Joey Porter Jr., Karen Smith, somebody like that. Um, and hate, you know, defensive tackle. And then I'm just not a big fan of having Quentin Johnson come into the building. Right. Um, and then the wild card, B. John Robinson. Those, those are my how I'm feeling right now, Monday before the draft, that's where I am at with the Ravens in the mock draft kind of uh, scenario. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously, like I said, drop down your dream, your realistic, your hate, and um, your wild card for the first round of the draft, man. Let, let me know what you guys are thinking, and we'll talk about it there in the comments, man. It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.